I need to tell you about a man, a remarkable man from St. Albans, who is rowing across the Atlantic to raise money for the MS Society. 24-year-old Isaac Kenyon and his teammates set off on the 12th of December to row from La Gomera in the Canaries to Antigua in the Caribbean. Long way to go. Um, I'm delighted to say that we can speak to Isaac now from the middle of the Atlantic. Isaac, very good morning to you. Good morning to the Atlantic. <laughs> well, Happy New Year to you. Can yeah. I ask you, what, what can you see around you right now? It's actually a uh, pitch black, but we have the most fantastic stars uh, and meteorite showers and shooting stars that keep us motivated. It, it's uh, dark right now, though. Well, so what are the conditions like at the moment? The conditions? Um, we have quite calm weather oh. and we've got strong winds, so it looks, it looks like it's going to be quite a slog for today. Uh, and hopefully the wind will pick up so we can get to Antigua a bit faster. When we say you're in the middle of the, like you are in the middle of the Atlantic, but anywhere more precise because you, you, you're a mariner, you, you, you should imagine you know where you are. Yes, we do. We're, we're literally at 1,300 nautical miles away from Antigua and are roughly exactly the same away from La Gomera. We are bang in the middle of our, of our journey right now. Mm -hmm. We hit halfway last night at New Year's Eve. So we, we did a joint celebration, New Year's Eve, and meeting in the middle. It's incredible. Um, Isaac, who are you rowing with? I'm rowing with um, three others. Uh, one, one name's Ben, whose um, mother has uh, multiple sclerosis, who we're raising money for. And I'm also rowing with Cameron Parker um, from South Africa and Jack Hopkins from B Bath. Okay, I need to ask you what this is a, re, a re, this is an amazing attempt you're 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 embarking upon. What's driven you to this? What's behind this story for you? And the story for my, myself is that I was asked by um, my good friend Ben to basically try to sustain a journey of a lifetime. It's uh, quite a unique experience that you don't really get asked to do. Said, so would you like to throw the electric um, multiple sclerosis therapy centre that she's at and. I, I just thought to myself, you know what? I've never rode before. I've never sailed before. I haven't been out of sea longer than eight hours before. But hey, I'm going to give this a go. I go out of my comfort zone and give it, give it my best and learn as much as I can. Hang on a minute. So before this, you'd never had so much seafaring adventure before in your life? No, it's never been longer than sea than eight hours. I didn't even know if I'm going to get seasick or not, honestly. <laughs> Have you been seasick? No, I didn't. Uh, one member of the team, Jack, he was seasick for a couple of days at the start. There was a lot of hardship at the start of everything, you know, the, 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 the routine and how you're going to get from uh, your shift to eat. And there was a bit of seasickness involved for Jack, but not for others. Uh, a little bit of nausea, but something we can all get over. And now we've got sea legs. Wow. So we're riding top waves. <laughs> you are such, <laughs> an impre such an impressive young man. Can I ask you, have there, has there been anything along the way you thought just an amazing, spectacular view? Because it must be, I mean, it, is the, it is a journey of a lifetime. It really is. Like some, of the, some of the things I've seen so far have really changed my perception on wildlife. For instance, we saw a, whale, a pod of whales, uh, six massive whales come right next to our boat, and immediately we all jumped in and started swimming with them. And it was just one of these experiences where it's, it's this is wild, you know, this is not something you, 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 you're you curating or seeing on TV. This is right here, right now, in the moment. And um, the stars, again, you see all these shooting stars and meteorites, and you see for miles and the most beautiful sunsets and sunrises that I've ever seen. The sun is so big here, the moon is so large here. It, this is like uh, living in the moment. Um, it's completely different to um, ordinary life. Is this one of those adventures that will will change your life? I, I believe so. Yeah, I I, I would really definitely appreciate food a bit more. Dehydrated ration packs, and um, it's not quite the same texture, the flavours. It's uh, yeah, and sometimes we don't get to boil hot waters. So we have cold dinners. There's a lot more appreciation for the smaller things. And sometimes when it rains and there's big schools and storms and you have to go through it for hours and hours and end, you feel like, what would they say? This is so good. 
you can't see it, not very well what you're doing. And then when the sun comes out, you really appreciate that sunrise. It's it's uh, little little details become big deal. Wow, incredible! When when will your journey end? I I, I think well we're hoping if the winds pick up, we should end maybe in sixteen days from now. Uh, if if it doesn't, it means it's going to be a bit more tougher, and we're going to have to row a bit harder, and it will be a bit of a slog. Perhaps maybe twenty days, but we we predicted for a forty day crossing. So we're halfway right now. I am so impressed with you. Um, and again, the, the land, this line to the middle of the Atlantic is incredible. Uh, Isaac, can I just bring uh, uh, Roy into the conversation? Roy, very good morning to you. Happy New Year. Happy New Year and Happy New Year, Isaac, and to all your mates. Well, well done, mate. I think you two know each other, don't you? Yes, I miss Granddad. We do. Is to me? Yeah, well, he's, 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 well, he's here. Well, he's here. He's on the phone. I mean, I, I, Granddad, I, I mean, what an impressive young man this is. Oh, yeah. I've taught him all I know. <laughs> <laughs> Did you teach him all about the, the ways of the sea? No, I, no. Look, well, I have been to sea, but uh, no, he's he, he's a young lad and he's going to go a long way. He really is. But, you know, I, he's good. I would like to say to him, we really miss you, Isaac. You wasn't here. I had to eat all your Christmas dinner and drink all that Talisker whiskey because you wasn't here. Hold on. He's just been telling us how hard life is, Bo. There's cold <laughs> dinner, cold tea. Granddad said all, all your staff, Isaac. I know. It's just, it's just, well, you know, he's, he's doing it for a good cause, I guess. <laughs> Listen, Happy New Year. Just uh, say hello to your grandma. She's dying to talk to you. So let's talk to Margaret Grand. Good morning to you. Happy New Year. Good morning, you. What an impressive grandson you've got. <laughs> I loved his bit about um, he'll appreciate food a bit more. <laughs> he appreciates food anyway. Is that true? Is that true, Isaac, in the middle of the Atlantic? <laughs> I am a, yeah, I have to admit, I am a foodie. Yeah, he does. Yeah, he does. <laughs> anyway, well done, Isaac. You're, uh, you're halfway now, so keep up the spirits and everything. Yeah, we'll keep morale up in the team. Oh my God, we, we can't wait for it all to finish now and get back safe. What an adventure. Oh, I know. Oh, all right, I'll let you go. Thank Bye. you, Margaret. Thank you, Roy. Happy New Year to you both. Isaac, listen, we wish you the, all the very best for the remainder of your journey. Please stay safe. And uh, let's talk when yeah. you get back because this, this story is just wonderful. And I guess behind it all, it's, it's about raising money. Yeah, can I advise um, everyone listening to um, our website, energydiscovery.co.uk. We'd really appreciate any donations to uh, support um, Ben's Mother's Therapy Centre. Not to disgrace this. Much, much appreciated. Thank you. Listen, I wish you very all the very best. Happy New Year. Don't worry about your granddad, Roy, eating all your drink, your food. Well, I'm sure, I'm sure your, your grandma will make up for it when you get back. <laughs> yeah, sounds good. Good. Take care, my friend. Uh, good luck, Isaac yeah. Kenyon to, uh, from Sailboard. And I apologise for the slight delay in the line, but literally he's in a boat in the middle of the Atlantic. What a truly what a remarkable young man. <laughs>